Mary, this is a horse that you've been associated with since a very young age. Yes, yes definitely. So mum and dad bred him. Um, and he was supposed to be dad's horse, but I guess um, work and time didn't always go together. So. <laughs> so but he broke him in? Yep, dad broke him in. Yeah. And then um, Adam Valier rode him then up for a couple of two years and took him from prelim up to medium. And then um, Courtney Larard rode him for 12 months and did medium and just touched on advanced. And then by that stage, Mary was starting to have a few sits on him and we thought, hey, you know, I think it's time for a family member. <laughs> And you were just 13 when you started riding? Yes, yes, I was just 13, so I was a pet of pumpkin. But um, <laughs> uh, he was a lot of fun. He was um, an amazing horse to ride on, just to, that, that next quality. Was, um, yeah, because I was on a thoroughbred prior to that. And um, yeah, he's, um, he's, a, he's an amazing horse to ride. We have a lot of fun, yeah. At that age, it must have been quite daunting riding a 17 one hand high stallion no it wasn't actually because i've always been exposed to bigger horses i've always had to grow into them so like my first That's what the good parent does isn't it <laughs> <laughs> like i had a i got a shetland when i was one and then um my next pony was an unbroken how tall was she she was 13 one or two she's unbroken at the mail she was sales. australian uh, riding pony or something like yeah, that yeah feral little thing but yeah. um <laughs> try to kill me multiple lot with times her. Um, yeah, and then it was... And then you had Elfie. Elfie was another pony. And then I went to Mum's Thoroughbred. Um, My old competition horse, who had actually been um, lame in the paddock for five years, or not that time, obviously. But um, I, I competed her, did novice, just started touching on elementary, and then she colleaged really badly. Nearly lost her, and then a month later she stressed out her. Not enough that she was dog lame, but you just couldn't compete. So we thought, okay, just turn her out, which we did. And it was about five years later, and Mary was just sort of getting sick of the pony. because he, did, didn't, like he didn't want to do dressage. <laughs> and he I said to my side. husband, look, you know, Pokey's looking okay in the paddock. Let's bring her in, put some shoes on her. How old was I then? And see, you were about 10 and a half, 11. I must have been younger, because I was on her for a couple of years before Army. Yeah, well, only around that age, yeah. anyway. Nine-ish. And then, um, she started riding pokey and within... She was 16 hands. She was 16 hands, so then Mary went from... She was sort of novice elementary five years prior and she took her up to advanced. And then we sold her when she started riding Rani because we thought, we're not having two competition horses to choose. Yeah, school and... So of course she chose mm. Rami. <laughs> and Rami is a horse that was bred by your father. Yes, yes. Um, my parents bred him, so he's... He's a real family member, he's yeah. part of the family. So he's Baragard and he's out of a um, Land of Monopole mare, mansion was her name. Um, yeah, so that was exciting. And yeah, did he ride her? Yes, yes. He Well, he bought her to ride, to compete. He bought her from a She was 18 hands. She was 18 hands, his mum. She was a lovely big girl. Um, and he just, just for fun, you know, he wasn't serious, but he'd do a little bit of eventing and a little bit of dressage and then work kicked in. And then we put her in foal because he was riding less. And then um, we thought we'll breed something for later on. And then um, work just kept kicking in. And yeah, he's only ridden Rami a couple of times. He broke him in and then he might have been on him He was broken in late as well. He wasn't then. broken until yeah. six. Yeah. 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 So, a late starter. Yeah. So the same the same year that we bred um, him, we had we put Pokey in foal as well and got a filly to Jive Magic and got a filly and then so they Rami and Jewel were the same age, so when they were old enough we put her in foal. Mm -hmm. and, and that's that's, that's Raffy who Mary rides as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, he's just he's nine now. Um, and Mary's just starting with Grand Prix with him. Is he a kind horse? Rami, yes, he is a very kind horse. He's, um, he definitely reminds us he's a stallion. Um, he has his rears and practices his and Spanish. plays schools. around. <laughs> but, um, yeah, look at those. He's grown five hands, but um, no, he's, we, have a, we have a good connection. He's, um, he respects me and um, I trust him. Has he taught you a lot? Um, he, we've sort of worked together. Um, I think we've taught each other a lot. 
Um, so he, yeah, he um, drove me around more in the medium, and then once we hit advanced and upwards, then yeah, I had to learn how to train him. Um, so he was touching stuff that he'd never even um, worked on before. Um, yeah, so it's been an amazing journey. He's um, yeah, we've worked together, and yeah, we're now at Grand Prix. It's our it's now been one year since we've been doing it internationally, doing a CDIW. Um, yeah, we debuted 20, at Sydney CDI 2016. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just hoping to keep pushing my scores up and not make the sex up we did today. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's horses and yeah, things happen. Karen, you must be so proud of what Mary and Rami have done yeah. together. Yeah, it, it's, it's been really very nice to be a part of it and watch it happen. There's a lot of work attached to it, of course, as everybody knows. But um, no, I'm very proud and Mary's, Mary's very dedicated and she's always had this, you know, sort of dream of what she wants to do with dressage. I can remember when she was about seven and she would say, well, Rafi then was young. And she'd say, Mum, how do you think Raffi will go with the Olympic flag? You know, that sort of thing. And she was only little, so Mary. <laughs> and she'd have these dreams and talk about riding for Australia, right from when she was from little. So and that's just kind of stayed with her so much so that um, when she was in year nine, she was starting to get sick a lot because she was trying to ride too many horses across two schools. So we looked into distance education, um, which worked really well for her, so yeah, so she finished that last year, finished year 12, and um, yeah, now she's just doing full-time horses, mm. that's what she wants to do. Finally, you must be loving it. Yeah, it's um, definitely a, a relief. <laughs> <laughs> it was, um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of pressure and stress last year. Mm. Well, she, because Mary's the kind of person, she likes to do well at whatever she's doing, yep. so she wanted to do well at her HSE, mm. even though she's not, wasn't planning to go to uni like today. But um, so she she did her best. She did her very best um, and kept going with the horses. So yeah. Mm. So anyway, it's been it's been fun. <laughs> well, this could be the horse to take you to an Olympic Games potentially. Well, yeah, potentially. He's only fourteen. So yeah. I know anyway. he's good enough. Yeah. Um, we just need to you know show off what he can do within those eight minutes at at specific test. So <laughs> um, yeah. So. How we go for the next um, 12 months. Is he your best friend? He is. He's um, him and Raffi, his son, they're, they're my boys. They're, um, they're no my time boys. for boyfriends, put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, um, we always said no boyfriends while you're at school, and then um, now it's just, it's just, just take, all the time's taken up, really. So yeah. yeah, I don't have any time to travel. You don't really go out partying or anything, do you? No, no. No. <laughs> no just training and coaching. So. Yeah. So she, sort of, she started teaching now as well and driving for another lady at home. Um, so yeah, it's going the direction she wants it to go. Mm. Mm. Fantastic. Good luck achieving the Olympic dream. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Fingers crossed it happens, but yeah, keep working hard until it does. Yeah, mm. and after. Very good. Thank you.